Welcome. So here before we start, uh, let us see what we are trying to create in this app. So this is our goal. Uh, the goal is to create an app which uh, has this title or heading I should say and uh, there is a label which is telling the user that cash flow at the end of first year has to be entered in this numeric input box and then there is another label which tells user cash flow at the end of year 2 has to be entered in this uh, numeric input box and uh, then when we click the calculate percentage increase button it gives you this answer right so this is uh, reactive in the sense if you change the values in the numeric input boxes and click it then the answer would change according to how much percentage increase it is so this is the goal of this is what we are trying to achieve through our app so we will do coding for this so i thought i must first of all show what output we are trying to achieve let us start with blank blank slate and let us take a new window so since my previous window was cluttered with my existing apps i took uh, a fresh window so that uh, everything is clear to you maybe we are starting from fresh it looks like that to you so that is the idea so here i am kind of resizing it here we will first of all create a new folder right so since we are creating so many apps so it is a good idea to create a new folder first of all right and put all the files in that folder right so where you wherever you want you can put that folder maybe on desktop you can create that folder so let us uh, give this folder a name maybe coding for quantitative finance and i will select this folder and now you see this folder is here coding for quantitative finance but uh, it is kind of empty at this moment and in this folder we can further create either files or we can create within this folder another folder so it is a good idea maybe to start with creating a new folder so here we can create a folder for this app that we are making let us call it say let us call it 01 quantitative finance qf simply app right. and i click outside so this folder is created now this folder is blank so we want to create a py file file with the dot py extension i mean which is a python file so i will be clicking here and then clicking this icon which says create new file and here we will be creating here we will be creating app.py file this file is now created and it is now a blank file so here we will be doing the coding for our next file so here i am assuming that you have already installed python so once you have done that you can go to this web page www.python.org slash downloads and uh, install download and install the latest version on of python and when you created these uh, folders and within that folder uh, app.py file then you go to new terminal so you will be here here it is a good idea to install your or i should say create your virtual environment and we do, do that with this command python dash m v e n v space v e n v and press enter and it would create a virtual environment for you so you will get some pop-up message that virtual environment has been created and uh, do you want to uh, select a workspace folder at this point uh, at this point uh, you can say no 
and here virtual environment venv has been created right now we need to activate the virtual environment and we do that by this command on the command prompt or, or terminal i should say and when you press enter you get this uh, venv within brackets which just uh, indicates that your virtual environment has been created so it will help you uh, run these web apps on the local server without deploying the app i mean and let us now talk about this app that we are creating so this app that we are creating is uh, having this ui where there is a header corporate finance inputs so there are two numerical numeric inputs where we are entering cash in the first numeric input the default cash is uh, 1000 and in second it is 2000 dollars and then there will be action button calculate and once you calculate it uh, hit the calculate button i mean it would display the percentage increase in the value of cash flows uh, in the second year uh, as compared to first year right so this is what it is doing and then we have all the server logic here so we are using if statement here and uh, since we want to do avoid this division by zero thing because that would give you uh, undefined value right so uh, we are using if statement that if it is so then you have to give this as undefined uh, initial value message to the user and if uh, the denominator is not zero then definitely this is the formula which is used to, to compute the percentage increase it is very simple formula we know value 2 minus value 1 divided by value 1 times 100 so that is uh, what it is done here and then we will render this and uh, we will display the result at this moment if you want to make sure that you have installed shiny also you can do pip install shiny just to confirm because here we are using this module so it will be executed only when we have installed it and here you see that uh, we are getting this message and it is telling us that okay there is a peep version that i am using is 20.2.3 but the latest version of peep is available so if i like to update or upgrade i should say then definitely i can run this command they have given this pip command that i can upgrade my pip i can do that later so at this moment i will continue and when i see this white uh, circle here it means my file is not saved so i will on my keyboard press uh, ctrl s or go here and click save so this is saved now this application is saved now if i want to have a new terminal i can have it so that uh, i am like not confused from the previous commands here now as i said in the previous videos also here also it is good idea to create our requirements uh, file here right requirements dot txt and this is file uh, this is file of course and it is empty and here minimum we need to have shiny modules but if you are uh, using other modules like pandas and stuff you write it here right or matplotlib whatever you have to write it here press uh, ctrl s on your keyboard or go here and uh, save this uh, file as well if you like you can close this file and now everything seems to be set up uh, to run this app so we have the vs code we installed python we created the virtual environment we have activated the virtual environment we have created the requirements file requirements.txt we have uh, installed shiny right we are not using pandas if i like i can delete it and save it again and uh, 
everything seems to be okay let us now run this file and see whether it does that we were trying to do right mm -hmm. so here cash flow the for the first year by default it is one thousand dollars but if you like you can change it make it five hundred dollars and uh, cash flow at the end of second year is uh, maybe you can make it 600 whatever and then click uh, calculate percentage increase and you get the answer that percentage increase is 20 percent if you like you can uh, click on this uh, maximize button it would open this app in the browser and this is what you see the app is running on the local host it has not been deployed yet but it is working fine for us so when initial cash flow for first year is 1000 and for second year it is 2000 then percentage increase would be 100 so this is a very elementary app just to gain some confidence congratulations for making this app which has numeric inputs two of them and a button and there is a functionality to be achieved here before i go here is the complete code i will scroll down and if you like you can take a note of it Thanks for joining.